So right here is where we're at, uh, this top up here. We've got it all prepped, sanded, uh, sanded it with 80, and then primed it out with white uh, bonding primer on, right on top of the gel coat. This down here is uh, epoxy paint, and uh, I broke the surface on it this morning, but it's still with the sander, but it's still not quite enough, quite uh, dry enough to sand. So uh, to sand completely out and prep for paint. So we're gonna give it a few hours, come back and see what we're dealing with, and then we'll we'll go from there. But it's all masked off and ready to go, whichever color we decide to go with. So it's uh, 145 and my hair looks like hell. But that looks really, 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 really good. Give it a few more minutes to uh, about 20 minutes here to uh, flash off and you see that striping that'll disappear see that looks like it's striped right there and right there that's a solvent burn but uh, as soon as that burns off we can clear coat it all of it and uh, put four coats on it and she'll look magnifico Magnifico. Well, good news is it's base coated with two coats of clear on it. And it looks pretty good. It's supposed to have four coats when it's finished. But I stopped it too because, let me show you. My base coat, for whatever reason, lifted right there. I have a feeling I know what caused it. And it's there, there's a spot right there, spot right there, and then all the way along the transom edge on that side, not on this side. So I think I know what's up and that's why I went ahead and cleared it. Um, I have a feeling I used a one part epoxy on the base and uh, for the very base to cover up the polyester filler below the water line. I just went ahead and did the whole thing. And I have a feeling you have to cover that up uh, with a surfacer before you put this, uh, this automotive paint on here. And I have a feeling there's some areas right there where that that one part epoxy is exposed and there and there, there. There's no other places right now. And those are fairly easily fixed. It's not that big of a deal to fix those. Um, so no, no biggie. Overall, man, it looks, it looks freaking great. So, we're about to do it again after having to sand all that edge all the way across. I had a run there, had a run there, and I had to sand all this edge down through here as well. And then I had to 600 grit the whole thing due to, I'm guessing it's a, it was a one part epoxy whenever I rolled it on. I'm guessing that it built up along this edge because I did it with a roller. And then I guess the, the sag caused it to build up along the bottom edge and therefore it didn't cure out good. And when I sprayed the base coat onto the boat, the solvents affected that one part epoxy and caused the paint to lift in those areas. So we had to take it all the way back down to substrate, feather it in, reprime it, feather it in again. Now we're ready for base coat, finally, again. And then we'll clear it. Hopefully today we'll be done and we won't have any more of these lifting issues, paint lifting. So I I was ready to pull the paint on this thing. But this kind of stuff happens. It's the first time it's happened to me in probably 50 paint jobs, but I've heard of it happening to other people. And, uh, but you don't learn until it happens to you. But yeah, it was all along, all 
along that bottom edge where you see that little detail. I guess that epoxy just built up there heavy and uh, that's what caused it. So, but we're almost back to the, back to good. I was so ready to lift the tape today. It'll be all right though.